y'all. I was doing the creative things that an artist is supposed to do. And the gallery was doing the marketing and the management and the promo like they were supposed to do. Don't stop dreaming. She made her little, her little coffee. She got time to vlog, okay? Okay, so I know I'm on my, y'all might not know, but I know, I'm on my grind <laughs> for, for having more savory breakfasts. And okay, this might not count, okay? Cause banana nut bread, I don't know, <laughs> but. Ooh, smelling like it's ready. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the I think she ready. It's giving Martha. Okay. Not her and her Martha ever. Yeah. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. So good. Okay, we're gonna let it sit. Let's give it 10 minutes. Banana bread, bro. Banana bread. So I cut a little. Hell yeah. I cut a little piece of the butt. She put some walnuts in there and I got some almond milk. We're dipping. It's a late night snack. That motherfucker slap. Like, I can't even lie. I can't even. It's actually not that sweet though. It's actually perfect. So it's like I could put a jam on it. I can put butter. I can put peanut butter if I want something more savory. So that's what we got, okay? She got her banana nut bread with peanut butter, java, water, and the gang gang. Y'all ready? I'm ready, let's roll out. These are exciting times, exciting times that I wanna document. Oh, is she gonna be on time? Okay, look at her. It's spring. Y'all, are y'all feeling the spring energies? I've been on my grind and I'm here for it. Like the sun is like the sun, give me new life. I just get so happy with the season changes. I really do. Like when it start warming up, like January is not the new year. Like we need to stop. No. <laughs> the new year is officially in March. It's officially March and April. Okay. The spring equinox is the new year. All right. Don't let them know they went and messed up the calendars. Okay. Google it. Okay. That's the real tea. Let me eat. isn't a drug coffee is a drug it is a drug like i mean like I, how, how do we define drug? are we about to have a whole we not having a conversation today stay on track y'all i am like over the moon let me let me explain this how is she so geeked right now? okay i'm on my way to work this is my this is my second to the last day you know like when you know you about to leave a job or like like just leave any situation you just like 
I only got a few more days. I only got a few more days. You know, you just you just feel like I'm already celebrating with the end in mind, you know? Y'all, we are headed to Seattle Opera. <laughs> Let her stop. Why am I in the same jacket though that I actually recorded an Instagram reel of me going to Seattle Opera, faking like I was about to sing opera? Yeah, just the whole night. This is a separate day, y'all. Um, I'm super excited to be invited back to the opera. So they're actually showing The Life of Malcolm X, which is super dope. I think it's actually a touring performance and so I came to Seattle uh, and so they're highlighting black business owners uh, where we can then before the show during intermission uh, and we get complimentary tickets which I am I cannot wait to see the performance I'm gonna hold out to see it like <laughs> I, I know I'm actually going today but I'm not gonna see it I'm gonna wait so that me and Andy can go see it together and it'll be like our first time experiencing it so I just got some of the greeting cards prepped and like packaged those with the you know envelope lopes on the back and everything and so I'm bringing greeting cards I'm not bringing oh I did bring candles okay I'm bringing greeting cards candles and a few of the larger prints I'm gonna see y'all there had a new live performance. Is that not is that not me? <laughs> okay, I gotta go get my boots set up. bundled up. It's cold. And y'all know, I probably talked about it in the past couple videos. I'm just so grateful for everything that I've learned during this time. It's just really that time that I'm about to go all in on what I'm doing as an artist. And that feels, that feels exciting. And I'm actually, the time that it is going to be crazy for y'all because that's how YouTube and editing works. Okay. So around the time y'all seeing this, I just finished up editing the uh, my solo art show, the opening reception, like the night of the event. And I just was like getting all the feels, reliving that experience. And another thing came to me too. I was saying how I was kind of nervous that a lot of people might not come just because I didn't give them enough notice. Just with the show, like y'all, Jasmine invited me to be a part of the show like maybe two months before the opening reception. So mind you, this is including me gathering the paintings, the installation, the promo, everything was like seven weeks, okay? So it was really crazy and we kind of brought everything together in record time and that's why we was just like so happy and ecstatic and over the moon. In addition to the fact that now Art Noir has physical, actual ownership of the space that they are in and that is absolutely iconic and I feel like ownership is a whole nother conversation in itself but it's so important, especially, I don't know if I wanna say like especially in the black community, but yeah, especially in the black community, okay? Like, it just, it just is, you know? And so, but that's a whole nother conversation. Part of me being nervous, like, oh, I didn't give my community enough notice. I didn't email, you know, send out my mass emails, and you know, enough or enough reminders or enough, you know, posts to my patrons or enough posts on, Instagram or like, you know, because I'm just so used to doing like these sort of big marketing campaigns for whatever I'm launching. And of course, that's smart. I should do that. That's what what marketing I should do. But I 
think of anything, the, sh the show showed me how beautiful collaboration can be and how pivotal galleries can be because of course maybe I didn't send out all my stuff but Art Noir was still doing their part of, of emailing their mass audience and having their team um, put the flyers all around town and you know posting on their socials and telling their friends you know so it's like I had the village of people helping me to support and market that show even though I felt like I didn't do my part I mean and it's like I was like and this is the this is just the humbling let me get the microphone up y'all I'm sure in some video at some point I talked about being an independent artist versus gallery representation and trying to figure out like which one I want to do that's kind of it kind of doesn't matter too much per se but what I am getting clear about is that with gallery representation or even because art noir doesn't like represent me like they aren't I don't have any exclusive contracts with them they aren't like my primary gallerist or anything it's a gallery that I'm collaborating with for this particular show which feels Feels beautiful and I do feel in partnership with them and there's a beautiful thing about that where it's not all on me you know so for me to even think like I didn't do my part in, a, in the sort of marketing aspect of it like doing my part was literally building the frames with Andy installing the show even editing videos for me because y'all know I feel like that is a huge part of my creative expression and so it's like I was doing the creative things that an artist is supposed to do and the gallery was doing the marketing and the management and the promo like they were supposed to do. I know for me, as of just being an independent artist for so long, and when you hear how much percentage that galleries can take and stuff, and to be fair, Art Noir, not a lot. Really, what Jasmine is doing is it really centers the artist and I'm just like I could just like gas all day about Art Noir and Jasmine but I'm not I'm not even gonna go there but I'm just like so grateful and it just shines a bigger light onto what I want to do and how I want to show up and to really put myself in the position of the artist now the thing is I am a Gemini okay she can be on both sides and I do pride myself in that and so I think I'm coming to the realization that okay you don't have to be on both sides if you don't want to but you also so can be on both sides if you want to because part of my struggle was feeling like I shouldn't do certain like I shouldn't be on social media or I should have more of a you know whatever these traditional artists way where like you don't hear nothing from the artists like it's only the gallery who's I was like yeah no nah. like we're in a whole different age where like the artists can speak on their own behalf you know and so I'm learning that there is a difference between speaking on your behalf as an artist and being able to share your story directly from your mouth versus you having to plan your entire life, your entire career, your entire exhibits, your entire everything. It's just so beautiful working in collaboration, specifically with organizations who respect artists, who have artists in mind, who value what they're doing, and also who know what they're doing, who know who who's competent, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so I'm just it feels like a whole new leaf and I'm just I'm super excited to sort of re-enter my art career with all of these newfound perspectives and experiences from having a part-time job from working um, with an incredible gallery that felt mission aligned you know I felt like all these different experiences that I've had have helped me get to where I am right now and I'm just I'm just so excited to fulfill the vision